Harvey, Disney Junior's Mickey's Fun House is coming back for a second season. I didn't realize because a lot of the people in my family, like they're no longer kids, they're adults now. And we're in the studio and a little kid comes in and her uh their dad, who I was talking to, said, Oh, you're talking to fun, he's gonna be talking to funny, and literally just went crazy. <laughs> So I realized that how big of a show this is, what is it like to be a part of this, especially touching a younger generation? I mean, it's kind of a dream come true, you know, just being part of this already, you know, sensational six that uh, are so iconic with Mickey and Minnie and, and Donald and Daisy and Pluto and Goofy. And it just, it really kind of makes me look back and just say, wow, I'm part of something that I grew up watching. I grew up, you know, be entertained by and now I'm doing that for you know little versions of me you know or like kids around the world who can watch this and and say that you know that they're big fans of the show and I really love the story and and the message that we give with the show itself is that you know sometimes you don't need to even leave your home to go on an adventure use your imagination and and that's kind of the best message I think we can tell uh, anyone, you know, especially now, like with times are so uncertain and whatnot, but your imagination can take you anywhere. You know, you never have to leave your room. So I love that message. Exactly. And you're really stretching your vocal chops because not only do you do the voice, you also sing in the show, you get some lively songs. What, how is it that to be able to do, like to be able to sing finally and do voices and everything like that? I, it's great. I mean, I, you know, I went to school for musical theater and people are always surprised that I can sing or, or even dance or movement and whatnot. But it's so nice to to be able to showcase that. Now, I will say with Funny, because his voice is a higher register, it's always more challenging because it's he's up in like a falsetto singing. So because that's where his voice lives. Uh, and so it's always like, oh, I'm going to sing. And here comes that note. And then you're like, you know, <laughs> so I definitely have to warm up before you do a song for Funny. Oh, yeah. I bet you the T is always there just in case. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but this season it looks like it's going to be even funner. A lot of kids are going to get really interested in it, and to have the classic characters and yourself a part of as funny a part of this scene, it looks like it's just going to keep growing. And this this project is really touching a lot of kids and really setting them up for what's going to be next in preschool and kindergarten. Yeah, it is. It's really great because this season alone, we go on adventures around the world. Uh, we introduce, you know, the audience to new countries and new cultures. So I'm really excited that we get to go to Mexico de Efe for Dia de los Muertos, which is really close to my heart. And so the idea that we get to go and you know, any child who's watching this show or any adult, you know, who's watching the show is going to learn something new and say, oh, I didn't know that. That's actually very interesting. You know, and we go to Korea and we go uh, different places that I'm so excited to just introduce kids to new cultures and new traditions yeah exactly and since we're getting close to Dia de los Muertos it's coming up uh the show is really going to resonate I think like you mentioned I think it really ex expands the culture and really introduces more people and younger people to the culture how important is that for our kids especially at that age to see different cultures and experience after when they grow up they kind of have a knowledge already it's super important. It's super important to introduce uh, children to uh, different cultures at a young age uh, to show uh, the world that we live in, you know, and to show that we are different. And that's what makes us wonderful and unique is that we all contribute to this wonderful thing called our planet. And so the younger they're introduced to it, uh, the more knowledge and more understanding and more acceptance they have uh, for others. And I think that's kind of the message that we want to give to anyone watching the show is that, you know, to be open hearted and to be welcoming and to be understanding, empathetic uh, is such a wonderful way of seeing things, you know, with empathy. So I, I'm really excited for everyone to see it. And, you know, I learned a couple of things myself, you know, pronouncing certain words uh, to when we travel the world, there's, you know, there's never going to be a moment where you're going to regret going the extra mile to learn someone's language, someone's culture. Um, and, and it's just going to better us all together. Yeah, and I think this show helps with uh, to leave a better future for for kids and for this planet by teaching them young and really getting them involved. And it's always great that Disney has always been a part of that in so yeah. many people's lives to get experiences that they don't really, they may not be able to experience and go through Disney. So it's always great to see that. 
Absolutely. And it's great that we get to use animation and storytelling to kind of introduce uh, the world uh, through your screen. You know, you don't have to leave your home to be uh, entertained and educated at the same time, which is great. Exactly. So you already have, you're already the king of night, nighttime for adult shows <laughs> uh, with what we do in the shadows. You're taking over Disney Junior. What's next? You got something in the, you need a daytime talk show now and you got the whole day settled with Harvey. I, I know, I know. I think mean, that's, you're absolutely right. I think the next step is kind of a talk show idea. I mean, I do love talking to people. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, who knows? I mean, the world uh, is possible to just anything, you know? The world's my oyster, as they say. Uh, but I, I love what I do right now and I'm having the best time. So I'm really excited that I get to be something to different demographics. You know, if you're a child, you're watching Disney Channel, you're watching Mickey Mouse Funhouse and their uh, adult parents obviously are fans of the show sometimes. So I go to cons and I have both of them come up and then they'll say like, you know, oh, my daughter loves Mickey Mouse Funhouse, but I like you from what we do in the chatter, you know? And it's kind of funny because in the same household at the same same time you know simultaneously we could have a parent being you know watching something in the kitchen you know uh, on on their you know laptop or whatnot and have the kids in the living room watching Mickey Mouse Funhouse and being yeah. entertained in the same household for two different demographics is really kind of great and amazing exactly Harvey continue the amazing work you're doing some amazing you're doing a great job and everything that you've done uh so far we're looking forward to what's next in the future thank you so much thank for you. talking with thank us thank you so much gracias Gracias para todo.